So this isn't a planned video at all. Uh, I just spur of the moment coming out, coming out to do this video because twice today, in fact, twice in like the last hour or so, I've been shared the same article by two different people. Um, and it's a short little article. I'm not even sure if it's meant as a joke or if people are saying it to me as a joke. Uh, I think the article's somewhat trying to be serious, but it's just ridiculous. Um, so what it is, it's an article talking about uh, a distro that is no longer being developed. It was a distro that I had never heard of before. And it mentioned a few other distros that have recently been, uh, you know, development has stopped on. One of them was, uh, um, I forget what it was called. It's some distro that's specifically for doing math, um, which is a very niche distro. Uh, so I'm not surprised that's not around anymore. But here's the thing that the article is kind of like, should we even continue bothering with Linux because these distros keep dying? Which is just a silly thought. I mean, think about how many hundreds of Linux distros are currently being worked on and how many of them you've never even heard of. And there's new ones popping up all the time and there's new ones dying all the time. It, it happens. It's always happened. People make distros. Hey, I've made distros before. When I first switched to Linux, I was like, this is so cool. I can remaster this ISO and I would take a distribution and change the theme and, and post it up. You know, not that anyone ever used the ones I made, but anyone can make a Linux distro. It's not that hard. And you know what? Here's the truth. This is, well, how I feel, okay? I think it's great there are so many distros. A lot of people are like, oh, it's, it's fragmentation. No, it's called choice. It's great that we have all these choices, but the truth is most of those choices are useless. We don't need all these distros. It's great that we have them, and if you want to use a distro that I don't use, that's fine. I don't care what distro you use for, for the most part. You know, as long as it's free software, what do I care? You know, um, I, I, but at the same time, I kind of think most distros are based on one of the primary distros. And if you go to like DistroWatch, most of the ones that people download are going to be either Debian-based or Arch-based. I'm not saying there aren't Gen 2. Obviously, there's Gen 2-based ones and Fedora-based ones. But, you know, out of all these four, but especially Debian and, and Arch are two of the probably most common it's like, do we really need a distro based on Debian or a distro based on Arch when you can just use Debian Arch? Why does it matter? Why? When I first switched to Linux, I spent the first two years, every other week, switching to another distro, trying all these different distros, and eventually I settled with Debian. Why? Because I like Debian. I like the, the, the distros I used that were based on Debian. So why not just use Debian? The, the benefit of these distros is to get something out of the box. And I still, like on my flash drive, I'll have... Linux Mint or some other distro that's good for out of the box because I'm using it as a live distro. I use it for troubleshooting on machines or to set up on someone's machine that I'm not going to spend time. See, when I set up Debian on my machine, I have my configuration, configuration files. I have things set up how I want. I don't want some pre-set up thing. Some people do, and that's fine, but that's what these distros are for. It's for, a, I'm going to pop this in, this out of the box. These are what I like, but really a lot of the out of box stuff you're not going to end up using, but maybe you like the way their desktop is. Maybe you like the way their their, your whatever it is, their network manager they use. All those things you should be able to set up if you're using a Debian-based distro. You should be able to do all that stuff on Debian. If you're using an Arch-based distro, you should be able to do all that stuff on Arch. It's just a matter of, is this out of the box? Really, in, in general, if, there's, if you can do something on one Linux distribution, you should be able to do it on any Linux distribution. If you can't do that thing on another Linux distribution, I would ask why. Are these developers developing something and not sharing it upstream? which is kind of a pain in the butt. If you're going to create something, share it upstream so other distros can have it. Again, the benefit of having different distros, for the most part, when it comes to these based on other ones, are just out of the box. Now, you know, you have things like Arch and Fedora. I'm just using those as an example because they're two of the more popular ones. They have different package managers. They have different repositories. And, and maybe that's why, I mean, I don't care what package manager I'm using. I use apt and aptitude, you know, because I'm used to them. But I also use lightweight distros. I use you know, SLITAS, which uses the TAS PKG package manager. It doesn't matter. It's package manager is a package manager. And yeah, there might be technical differences, but it just downloads and installs my package and any, any um, dependencies for it. So I don't care what distro you're using. And the fact that distros don't last, if the distro really is bringing something that is new and unique, just like, like Debian and Arch are different in many different ways. They're not based on it. So if I get a Debian-based distro... Again, why not just use Debian? What are you bringing to the table? Mainly out-of-the-box configuration. Besides that, most of these distros don't offer anything special, and that's why they don't last.
because why would I use that when I could use something else? You know, and some of them do. Sometimes they bring new desktop interfaces, maybe new themes. Uh, but again, you can usually get those installed on other distros. It's just the out-of-the-box thing. So the reason a lot of distros die is because they're unneeded. <clears throat> Lots of times these distros die out because they're maintained by a handful of people, and these people get tired, and they just... You start a project, and then you get tired of working on it. I know exactly how that is. That's why I like packages or projects that I work on that, that I can finish up in a couple of days or, or do at my leisure, you know? And I completely understand the whole getting burnt out. Just because a, a distro uh, developer gets burnt out doesn't mean that distro is no longer useful. If that distro really was great and people really liked it, someone will pick up where they left off. Uh, for example, going to, like, different versions of Linux. We're looking at, like, Android. You had CyanogenMod. Mod. CyanogenMod Mod eventually died off. But then other ones came in, like Lineage OS, uh, which I've played with a bit. And that's the great thing about open source. The projects never die unless it's really not useful. You know, if it's abandoned, it's because no one's using it. If people are really using it, somebody is, if they're really dependent on it, and they really think it's this great program, they will continue developing it. And if not, then great, it's dead. No one really needed it. I mean, there might be someone out there in the corner somewhere who's like, oh, I really needed this package in case. In that case, if that, you're that person, you can keep it going. So to have an article saying, oh, some distros failed, maybe we should just forget about Linux altogether, that is just ridiculous. Again, there are hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of distros. Most people probably only have tried things. If you go to like DistroWatch, the first 20 of them, you know, they come and they go. Anyone can make a distro. Just because someone stops working on a distro doesn't mean that, that Linux isn't working. And it doesn't mean that we're fragmented. Uh, that's another thing that I've thought about doing videos on. Uh, even Linus Torvell, oh, the Linux desktop environment is fragmented. Fragmented? No, people like different things. Desktop environments are the one thing that really makes Linux uh, you know, so great is that we all like different desktop environments. I don't care what desktop environment you use. Maybe yours, you know, is more of a, you know, a processor hungry. Who cares if it runs fine on your computer? You use that. I like to stick to lightweight stuff, even though I have a decent computer. I just like working with lightweight software. That's personal preference, and the fact that we have these options is great. Um, and again, this might seem like ramp, but it's like two people within like an hour shared this article with me, and I'm not sure if they were sharing it as a joke. Like, they're really concerned. Oh no, another distro died. Distros have been dying for the last 20 years, and new distros are coming up all the time so um that's pretty much that's that's my rant i, I hope you uh i'd love to hear what you guys think is is linux distros dying these linux distros that you've never heard of have never used it might have been scientific linux scientific linux was the other one i think recently died they mentioned in the article which was specifically for doing certain mathematical equations and graphic i don't know i've never really used it and that's another thing Some, sometimes these distros are very specific this is a distro for this which basically usually means that it's based on another distribution and has the packages for this installed again i could install debian and, and install those same packages so the fact that when you have these niche uh you know distributions that are for a certain thing it's like yeah that's great if you're going to use it for that certain thing but in most cases you can just install those packages and if i'm just using it as a regular desktop do i need scientific linux and again i never used it if you have and you have some sort of comments on that, comment below. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know below uh, what you think about this. What distro you use? How, are you using or were you using one of these distros that died out and you're really upset that they died out? Uh, again, I use Debian. Debian's been around for a long, long time. It has a lot of support. has a lot of developers. Um, I don't think it's going anywhere for a while. Same with things like Arch. Uh, and, you know, obviously Fedora is a big old company. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Comment below. I'd love to hear what you think, and I hope that you have a great day.